This episode of Nerdist News is sponsored by Penguin Random House Audio. Is this our first look at Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio in Far From Home? Ever since the Spider-Man sequel Far From Home was announced, fans have been caught up in a web of speculation trying to figure out who Spider-Man will face off against. Reports have swirled for months and months that several villains from Spidey's rogues gallery would be making appearances in the film and that Jake Gyllenhaal would play the main villain Mysterio. And now we're getting what looks to be the first unofficial look at Jake G in that role. Now if you're hoping to go into Far From Home spoiler free, then swing on out of here and take this spoiler warning with you. Oh, Word on the street earlier this year was that Jake Gyllenhaal was in talks to play the fishbowl-wearing creeper Mysterio. And though Jake's casting and involvement still hasn't been confirmed by Marvel or Sony, these new behind-the-scenes videos and images from the set of Far From Home feature what looks a lot like Jake G wearing a Mysterio-like costume. The new footage captures what appears to be the setting for a final showdown in the movie, a town square with lots of different set pieces, some of which are on fire. Now, the bearded actor believed to be Jake as Mysterio is wearing a purple cape with golden gloves or bracers, both of which are reminiscent of Mysterio's classic look in the comics. And although he's not sporting the fishbowl head the character is known for, that could be for many different reasons. Spidey could have knocked it off of his head in their final showdown, or he took it off himself to reveal that sweet, sweet beard, or the fishbowl will be added later digitally. Now, for those of you not in the know, Mysterio first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man number 13 back in 1964. There have been several different villains that use the name Mysterio, but the first and probably most well-known is Quentin Beck, who was a stuntman and special effects guy trying to make it big in Hollywood. As Mysterio, Quentin Beck is one of Spidey's most slippery foes, and the two have gone back and forth getting the upper hand in the comics. Even based on these fuzzy images, we're excited for Mysterio's look and to see what Jake will do with the role, and we're really, really hoping Marvel and Sony will stay faithful to Mysterio's look, including that fishbowl head. Even though we don't yet see it in these images, here's why that fishbowl helmet is so important. Besides being an iconic centerpiece of the Mysterio look, in the comics it also acts as a two-way mirror, letting him see out, but preventing anyone else from seeing in. But it's not just for aesthetics, it's also airtight, and it has a holographic projector inside, and an emergency 30-minute oxygen supply which comes in handy when he starts throwing around his weird hallucinogenic gases. <laughs> Am I right? So if the fishbowl isn't in these BTS clips, where is it? It's probably gone because Marvel is paying a pretty penny for Gyllenhaal, and we get why they wouldn't want to cover up his movie star face. But the broad shoulders on his Mysterio costume lead us to believe that the helmet will be seen in the film at some point. Now it's worth noting that this set video also shows us the Ferris wheel from last week's new darker Spider-Man suit reveal, with Twitter user at CZMarty7 tweeting, final scenes from Spider-Man, far from home in Liberic, now the end of filming. Along with his BTS clips, as well as all of the special effects at play and the black car showing up at the end, this scene probably takes place in the film's final climactic scene, but that's all speculation. We'd previously speculated on this show that Far From Home may be adapting some of the mid-2000s Secret War comic arc. With Spider-Man's new suit as well as Far From Home's European location and the confirmed involvement of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Nick Fury and Maria Hill, the film using some elements from Secret War still seems likely. While Mysterio was not part of that arc, a ton of Spider-Man B-list villains are. It's been rumored for weeks that the film will feature small-timers Hydro-Man, Molten Man, Chameleon, and a returning Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Yes. I love him. We also know that at the end of 2017 Spider-Man Homecoming, Mac Gargan, aka the Scorpion, teases putting a team together to get revenge on our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, so it'll be interesting to see if this squad of nobodies is the team he's talking about. And with these leaked images and videos hitting the internet, we wouldn't be surprised if Marvel attempted to get ahead of the leaks by releasing some official Far From Home images in the near future. But what do you folks think? Do you like the MCU's take on the Mysterio costume? Are you disappointed at the lack of a fishbowl helmet? And who's your favorite Spider-Man villain, let's discuss. Thanks to Penguin Random House Audio for sponsoring today's episode of Nerdist News. Penguin Random House Audio has a cornucopia of awesome audiobooks, from the magical world of Harry Potter to the blood-soaked A Song of Ice and Fire series from George R.R. Martin to the vampiric verve of Deborah Harkness's Times Convert and beyond. Penguin Random House Audio has something for everyone, no matter what kind of mood you're in. For more listening suggestions and a free audiobook trial, head on over to www.penguinrandomhouseaudio.com slash nerdist today.